the tables of five, six, and ten. Come, let us also learn these tables with Chanda. Uncle has kept some wood and ropes here. Chanda, my child, come, let's make a unique boat. We will first learn the table of five while making the boat. And therefore, we will keep five words standing like this. Chanda placed five wood pieces on the ground like this. Now, we will place one wood horizontally like this. And we will tie a rope at the joints where the horizontal piece cuts the vertical pieces. This is... One multiplied with five. Children, can you count the total joints and tell how many these are? Five. This is very easy. Just keep adding the horizontal words and keep counting the total joints. Your boat and table both will keep building. Chanda started dancing happily. Chanda thanked uncle and went with her unique boat to sail in the river. Chanda was humming the table of five while sailing in her boat. Five ones are five, five twos are ten, five threes are fifteen, five fours are twenty, five fives are twenty-five, Five sixes are thirty. Five sevens are thirty-five. Five eights are forty. Five nines are forty-five. Five tens are fifty. Appu saw her sailing in her boat on the river. He asked Chanda to teach him to make the boat and the table of ten. Children, to teach Appu the table of ten, how many sticks? Should Chanda use? Ten. Now what should we do to start building the boat and the table of ten? We have to place one wood horizontally. Now, how much is one multiplied with ten? Ten. What should we do next? We'll add one more wood piece. Now, 2 multiplied with 10 is 20. Chanda added words just like us and built the table of 10 like this. And Appu's boat is ready. Now Chanda and Appu both sailed their boats on the river and started for their homes humming the table of ten. Come children, let's repeat the table of ten with them. Ten ones are ten, ten twos are twenty, ten threes are thirty, ten fours are forty, ten fives are fifty, ten sixes are sixty, Ten sevens are seventy, ten eights are eighty, ten nines are ninety, ten tens are hundred. Children, can you build the table of six by using the method taught by uncle? Make it in your notebook by drawing lines. Oh wow, the table of six is ready. Now you can hum the table of six in a unique tune with your friends. Exactly like Chanda. Children, in this lesson, we learned the table of five, six and ten. In the next lesson, we will learn some unique uses of tables. Hello children, let's learn
to use the tables. One day, a lot of fruits had grown in Chanda's garden. She thought, why not take four bananas each for her friends Appu, Golu and Babban. Children, can you tell how many bananas should Chanda take? Appu, Golu and Babban are how many friends in total? Three. Now, how many bananas are to be taken for each friend? Four. Chanda has to take four bananas each for three friends. We can write it like this. Three times four bananas. Now, how will we write it in the form of multiplication? Three multiplied by four. Children, can you write its answer by using the table of four? Absolutely right. Chanda will have to take 12 bananas for her three friends. Chanda filled 12 bananas in a basket and she started walking in her garden. Chanda collected a lot of mangoes from her mango tree and tied them in bunches of six mangoes each. Chanda now has eight such bunches. Can you tell how many mangoes has Chanda collected in total? Chanda has got eight bunches and every bunch has six mangoes in it. How will we write this? Eight times six. Now, how will we write it as multiplication? 8 multiplied by 6. Now, using the table of 6, they become 48. Chanda collected a total of 48 mangoes. Now, Chanda had to pick coconuts from a coconut tree. But the tree was very high. Therefore, she called Babban for help. Babban told Chanda that he would take 5 rupees for picking each coconut. Chanda had to get a total of 7 coconuts picked. Now Chanda is thinking how much money will she have to pay to Babban. Children, you have solved this correctly. Chanda will have to give 35 rupees to Babban. Chanda collected the coconuts and gave money to Babban. Now both of them went to rest under a tree. Children, in this lesson, we learned to use tables. Children, in this